I'm really curious about different ways of telling about society and entangling people in research. So a lot of my work has been informed by an interest in the making of sociological arguments in um, multi-dimensional ways. So I've often drawn on exhibitions and on websites, I've used photography in my work, and most recently I've been experimenting with costume. So I often think about it in terms of making things to make sense of things. And it's been quite um, formative for me in an ESRC-funded project that I've been working on called Transmissions and Entanglements, where I've been um, critically exploring the making, curating, and representing of um, sociological knowledge. Um, and part of this project is called Bikes and Bloomers, and it's a project of which I've been exploring the intersection of cycling and cycle wear, mobile bodies, um, the politics of gender, and the changing nature of public space and citizenship in late Victorian Britain. So in particular, I've been focusing on the challenges that face women who were early adopters of cycling. Their clothing was unsafe and uncomfortable, and... Um, Society, large portions of society, um, often um, looked at them as being um, looked at them as kind of threatening by nature, and um, in terms of seeing them as these newly kind of mobile women, and sometimes responded in quite violent ways. So a lot of these women kind of inventively responded through their clothing. They designed and lodged patents for inventive cycle wear. And they also did, a, a particular subset I'm interested in, is they lodged patents for convertible um, cycle wear. So um, this would be an example of, um, this is such a great landscape, <laughs> sensory landscape of this area. Um, so they not only kind of designed um, inventive cycle wear, but they also lodged patents for it. And I'm interested in a particular subset of that, which is convertible cycle wear. Um, and that's, um, that's clothing that wouldn't have looked out of place on the high street, but enabled them to transform it when they were getting close to their bicycles and ride safely. So this is also a story about what happens when cycling, sewing and sociology collide. Um, and more broadly, I've been asking a series of questions, but I'm interested not only in what this kind of research might bring to a deeper understanding of society, but what might the making and wearing of your research bring to sociological practice. So I'm just going to very briefly outline three ways in which I've been thinking about costumes sociologically. And the first way um, is in response to the kind of theoretical framework, and that comes from science and technology studies for me. So I think about costumes as mobility technologies or as kind of um, particular devices. So clothing becomes a critical means through which different bodies are made to fit, both phys physically and also ideologically, with new ways of being in and moving through public space. So clothing becomes a device and a tool through which we might explore kind of bigger theoretical ideas such as gender or mobility or citizenship and think about the ways in which they're performed or organised or constructed. And secondly, I think about costume um, sociologically in terms of design or through the processes of construction. So, um, as I said, I've been looking particularly at patents and I find patents really fascinating design objects. And that's because inventors describe in detail the problem that they're attempting to solve. And in doing that, provide a, a really interesting glimpse into the socio-cultural context of the time for us, but also they provide step-by-step -step instructions for future users to then replicate their ideas. So I've been working with an interdisciplinary team of people, um, a, um, an artist, a filmmaker, a weaver and a tailor, to remake a whole series of these convertible cycling costumes. And in the process of doing it, I've been doing an ethnography of making. I've been attending to kind of the... Um, nuances of material encounters, thinking about the mistakes and the tangents in the process of making, um, thinking about crafting injuries in this form of sociological labour, as well as um, you know, the incredible mess that happens from doing this kind of sociology in, um, in a sociology office. And also, I've been, quite, I've remar I've been documenting the um, extraordinary kind of spatial distribution of pins and uh, threads and needles which have encompassed my entire life now. So thirdly, um, and finally, I'm also interested in costumes as kind of sociological storytelling devices. You know, these are ways of communicating research beyond talk and text. And I think about these a lot in terms of live sociology, because I don't think these garments work well off the body. And that's because they're about transformation and they're about um, forms of mobility. So, for example, I'm wearing an 18 an 1895 um, convertible cycling outfit that was um, patented by two people, sisters in um, Yorkshire, um, Mary Elizabeth and Sarah Ann Peace. 
Um, and uh, what was interesting about this is that it wouldn't have been out of place in um, a high Victorian high street, and yet as soon as the um, woman would have approached her cycle, she would have been able to whip her skirt off, um, wrench it up to her neck like this to reveal her nifty bloomers underneath, um, and tie it um, around her neck, whereby she effectively transformed her cycling skirt into a cycling cape. Many um, women talked about turning, um, rolling it up and putting it on the handlebars as well. So then it becomes a cape which is quite comfortable to cycle in, but of course you can quite comfortably kind of move around with it as well. So what I'm trying to do in this um, work is to interweave um, ideas around um, uh, genealogical um, research and archival research, the processes of making interdisciplinary practice with different people, as well as I've been um, working um, with a whole range of um, public um, organisations and producing um, events whereby we're literally inviting people into the project through sewing workshops, through um, uh, open days and curated kind of bicycle events. And so these are ways in which I've been finding um, sociology, um, the sociology of costume to be useful. And I just want to end on the question to perhaps reflect in your own work is what might the making and wearing of your own research contribute to um, sociological practice? Thank you very much.